I have lunch with Tony Leon all the time, and we have these debates. The last time I had lunch with him, we talked about black economic empowerment. I think I won him over a little bit. I referenced a speech he gave, or Tim, Tim Harris did, sorry, referenced a speech he gave a couple of years ago and said a lot of the work we've done to try and improve BEE was on the basis of some of the things he pointed out in that speech. He conceded the point. He felt one way. We felt another way. I value that kind of input because... You know, whether I like it or not, or whether it's relevant or not, Tony Leon built the platform on which I'm currently standing today. So he has a say, and he must say what he thinks. And we must take his views seriously. Um, but we must also take seriously the views of the people who are supporting us today on the basis of what we say today. So I think there's a balance to be struck. I'm not one of those people who's like, you know, you're not in the party anymore, you don't get to have an opinion, be quiet. Nor am I like, gosh, you know, we must be panicky when we disagree with our former leaders. And you know, if if we differ on certain issues, then it's a problem. I think it's part of that whole. Uh, I'm looking for a word, but it's that kind of continuum of ideological view that exists within a political party. And we're a liberal democratic political party. And I think all of those views should be taken into account because they form part of the fabric and they inform our decisions. But ultimately, our decisions must be driven by principle because we have to make an offer that reflects who we are, not who we think we are, or who we want to be, just in order to get votes, or who mm. we want to be to a certain group or whatever. It must actually be who we are as an organization. And when we decide that, we must be unashamed about it. We must go out and defend it.